Guess what, everybody? It is time now to imagine it. We are inside Carl's kitchen, which is a lot messier than Grandma's kitchen, especially this time of year. What are you cooking up here at the Imagination Station? You and I together are going to make something called oobleck. Oh, something great. you can do at home. It's really simple. Um, and the recipe starts with cornstarch. We're going to add a scoop full of cornstarch. Maybe we'll do two scoops. Okay. Two scoops of cornstarch. That's starch. a lot of oobleck. And now go ahead and help me with the water here. We're going to add okay. two scoops of water. Oops. It's going to get messy. Don't, I said, don't, I said, don't that's worry. why I'm wearing the gloves. And so what's cool about this is when you mix the water with the cornstarch, and do you want to do this? Do sure, wanna, sure. Because then I can, I can add some more, because we need to get to the right consistency. Okay. So what happens here is you mix the cornstarch with the water. And the cornstarch is sharp little granules. Um, on a sort of microscopic level. And at some point, we're gonna get it so thick. Yeah, that starting to congeal here. It starts to like almost tear a little mm, bit. Yep. Is it getting thicker in there? It is. Perfect. Now what's cool about oobleck is it behaves somewhat like a liquid, somewhat like a solid. <laughs> it's a sheer thickening liquid. So, yeah. How's, ooh, how's that yeah, going? Ooh, it's crumbly that... a little bit too. How's that? Okay, that's what we're shooting for. Okay. Let me, let me, have, let me just get in sure, there and see ahead. how it feels. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So what's cool about this is if you apply a force to it, you can make like a little snowball. Okay. Right? So go ahead and give that a try. See if you can like yeah. peel some out. All right. And if you keep the pressure on it, it is solid. But if you take the pressure away, oh, that's it bizarre. Flows like a liquid. That's just water and cornstarch. Water and cornstarch. Wow. It's called a sheer thickening liquid, and um, definitely Ooh. easy easy to make. <laughs> One thing you don't want to do is don't don't wash it down the drain because that becomes called the plumber experiment. Time. <laughs> not not what you want. But isn't that cool? Is that it a is liquid? Cool. Is it a solid? Um, a class of materials like this is called uh, non-Newtonian liquids. So what I thought we would do, Tony, if you can make, it, it's the holiday time, I thought we'd add a little color to this. So if you can actually make a ball of the oobleck and try. bring it over here, okay. you've got a speaker. So when you apply a force to this stuff, it hardens up. So, yeah, even a, yeah, perfect. Right. Yeah, is that just, good? That's, big? Okay. A little bit less, a little, a little bit, bit less, a little bit less. Yeah, all right, just yeah, put that in there. Okay, ready? Does, does, Here's the one Perfect. Blah. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got it in there. I'm going to apply uh, a low frequency to this. We'll see if we can get it to move a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> is that not cool? That is All cool. All because of the... Now, here, take some food coloring. This is I the fun part. I think I saw this in the X-Men. Just add a few drops. One or two drops. Oh. Okay, now let it mix. Is that not beautiful? <laughs> Look at that. So can you imagine how much fun you can have with this with an old speaker, uh, maybe an maybe a app on your phone that can generate some various tones, and you can get stuff that, dan it looks like it's alive. <laughs> it looks like it's alive. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> and wow. Now, if we, if we take that force away, and you go, oh, nice, nice. It almost looks like a candy cane of some sort. Yeah. Oh, Breaking it's, it's going to jump right out. I mean, the lou louder we turn it, the more force we're applying, the harder it gets. Huh. Now, if we take that away, it's going to turn right back into a liquid. Oh, my. Is that not the most beautiful thing? <laughs> I mean, Science-wise, that is just so cool. Uh. Now, now, this looks like just kind of a fun thing to play with. This kind of liquid that hardens under pressure is what you put in a top fill and an oil spill. Oh. Right when you have those oil, uh, the where they drill and it's shooting out, yeah, sure. you fill it with a, a slurry like this that hardens under pressure, and so as the pressure builds up, it tightens up and the oil can't come out. Makes sense. Non-Newtonian. Non-Newtonian. Newtonian. Non-Newtonian. Non the imp implication is it doesn't obey L Newton's laws of motion because its oh, viscosity okay. changes depending on the force you apply to it. Apply a force, it becomes hard like a solid. You take that force away turns back into a liquid. Wow, it just turned Newton on his head. All right, well, if you want to come on down here to the Imagination Station, they are open today. And if you live in Lucas County and you bring a kid with you who also lives in Lucas County, who's 12 and under, that kid gets in for free with a paid adult admission. I think we're going to stay down here all day and do this. <laughs> but that's how you imagine day. it.